I work as a chief technologist at a pharmaceutical plant in Irkutsk. Half a year ago, the management of our company included in the production development plan the development of a new product, medicine for colds, and flu in pills. To organize the process it was necessary to purchase equipment and obtain documents for product certification. According to the requirements of drug certification bodies, we are required to produce a trial batch of the product and make laboratory tests of cold and flu tablets. In pharmaceutical production it is important to control the quality of raw materials and finished medicines. This requires analytical equipment, which we also decided to buy for the tablet packing area. We did not have equipment for polishing and removing dust from the surface of tablets, which is used in the manufacture of tablets, to give tablets a smooth surface. A colleague from another plant recommended that I purchase a compact equipment for polishing tablets. I understood that we didn't need a large machine, just enough to buy tablet polishing equipment for use in the laboratory or small batch production. I carefully studied the proposed machine, but it turned out that it is not suitable for pilot studies and used in the production of large loads. I rejected the suggested variant and decided to turn to another manufacturer. I was looking for a machine that was as efficient as possible, safe for the worker, made of durable material. The machine had to be compact in overall dimensions and easy to operate. I began my search for a pill polishing machine with the confidence that I would find the right equipment right away. However, the task turned out not to be as easy as I would have liked. I wanted to compare machine manufacturers in Europe and China. I searched through the internet. I chose by location, delivery time, price category. Among the quality European manufacturers, I found three companies, which offered good machines, but asked for a very high price, which did not include the customs clearance procedure. I understood that the management would not approve the chosen options because of the high cost and would send me to search again. I then looked for tablet polishing equipment from Chinese manufacturers. There were more options here. I sent emails to them indicating which machine I was considering as an option to four equipment companies in China. However, only two responded to me. One company indicated that such equipment would not be produced until six months, and the other sent a response in Chinese. The period of four months didn't satisfy me. It was too long, and none of our people speak Chinese. I didn't want to spend time and money on a translator, so it was decided not to buy a car from a Chinese manufacturer. I realized that I would not be able to solve the problem of finding a machine for polishing tablets on my own, so I turned to an intermediary specialist. I had an idea of what kind of machine I needed, so I only paid attention to the reliability of the company. On the internet I chose several intermediaries, one from China and two managers from Russia. I made my choice by looking at the company's websites. The length of their work in the market for supplying pharmaceutical equipment, positive customer feedback, and the relevance of their prices were of great importance. At first I called the Chinese intermediary, his presented price for the machine was lower than the others. I was told by the manager, who specified that the price did not include customs clearance, delivery and installation of equipment. The total amount of the order was much higher than what was shown on the site. I was not satisfied. Then I studied the website of a Russian company more closely. I looked at the prices, the terms of delivery, but I was alerted to the fact that this company also deals in deliveries of shoes and crockery from China. I wanted to find a specialist in whom I would be confident, who would deliver to me the equipment for polishing tablets within the specified time. I decided to look at the last option among Russian intermediaries. In advance, I checked the company in the database of entrepreneurs in Russia for litigation for the period of activity. This company did not appear in these lists. I liked the company's website, modern, structured, lots of videos. I called the manager of the company and got a good consultation about the equipment I wanted. Specialist told me about the features of the machine, sent me a video by email, cited the experience of past customers. White tablets were loaded into the polishing machine's receiving window. Then the worker turned on the vibration, and the tablets began to move from one plate level to lower levels. Passing over the plates, the tablets were cleaned as air, and dust were drawn away through the perforations by a vacuum cleaner. At the lowest level, the airflow from the compressor finally blew the tablets from the dust and out of the machine. I liked the manager's business-like and professional approach. I was satisfied with the delivery terms and price and a week later, we signed a contract for the supply of equipment for polishing and dusting of tablets. The machine was delivered on time. It was compact, economical and easy to operate. The equipment could polish up to 500,000 tablets an hour. We were satisfied with the pill polishing equipment recommended and supplied by a specialist from this company. I realized that I made the right choice of a professional to supply the equipment. 
Real professionals pay attention to detail, and I was lucky to find such a person when choosing the equipment.